Good day, Nisreen. Good day, guys. Guess you are doing great. A warmly welcome to Greenville School e-learning, additional mathematics class. The topic for today is combination, presented by Mr. Matthew, your additional mathematics teacher. In our previous lesson, we looked at factor notation and permutation. I have a few questions for you to solve. You have six minutes. Start. Thank you. You can cross check your answer with mine. The A is shown. B and C is there. Mark yourself. I hope you got everything. Let's write on. Today, we are looking at how to solve problems involving combinations. How to solve problems involving combinations. What is combination? It's a selection of all or part of a set of objects, including digits and alphabets, where order is not important. If you can remember, when we are looking at permutation, for permutation, order is important. Here, order is not important. How to compute the number of selections where order is not important or combinations? We use the combination formula. The number of combinations of R objects from N, unlike is given by N combination R, N combination R. This is another notation of presenting it, which is equal to N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial, where N is the total number of objects, R is the number of selected objects. Let's look at some examples. In how many ways can a hand of four cats be dealt from an ordinary pack of 52 cats? Here, yeah, we are selecting four cats from 52. That gives us 52 combination four. That is 270,725. Another example. A theme of five is chosen at random from six boys and seven girls. In how many ways can a team be chosen if I, there are no restrictions? No restriction means that the six boys and the seven girls are the same. So selecting five from 13, that is 13 combination five, giving us 1,200. 87. Now, there must be more boys than girls. So what are the possible options? The first can be three boys, two girls, four boys, one girl, five boys, zero girls, or zero girl. Now, this gives us six combination three, times 7 combination 2 plus 6 combination 4 times 7 combination 1 plus 6 combination 5 times 7 combination 0 that is 531 give this a trial now in a hand of poker 5 cards are dealt from a regular pack of 52 cards in how many of these hands are there? For the A part, four kings. Four kings. Now, how many kings do we have in a pack? We have four kings. So we are selecting four from four. Now, don't forget in total, we are selecting five. So if you are taking four from four, the remaining one will be selected from 48. That gives us 
4 combination 4 times 48 combination 1, which is equal to 48. Now, in the second instance, that is the B part, how many clubs do we have? We have 13 clubs and 13 hats. So, 2 clubs means we are selecting 2 from 13. 3 clubs, 3 hats means we are selecting 3 from 13. So, this gives us 13 combination 2 times 13 combination 3. Very simple. Give it a trial. Okay. Solution. Now, said a committee of five people is to be chosen from a group of six men and four women. How many committees are possible if A, there are no restrictions? There are no restrictions means that the men and the women are considered the same. So we are selecting five from ten. That is 10 combination 5. Now, B, one particular woman must be excluded from the committee. Sorry, B, one particular person must be chosen on the committee. One particular person must be chosen on the committee. So you separate one, that one particular person from the remaining 9. So you are selecting one from one particular person, that is one combination one. And the remaining four, you are selecting the remaining four from the other nine left. So that gives us nine combination four. So one combination one times nine combination four, that gives us one, two, six. Now C, one particular woman must be excluded from the committee. So excluded means you take him out completely. He is not considered. So if you take him out completely, we are left with nine people to be selected from. So selecting five from nine gives us nine combination five. That is one, two, six. Thank you. I have this few assignments for you. And that make sure you send your response to my mail as shown below don't forget this will help you to solve past questions so start attacking your packs and make sure you solve all questions involving permutation combination and factorial notation thank you enjoy your day bye